Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wellbeing Wednesday. Today's episode, the topic is boredom. So I should define boredom a bit before we begin. In, in terms of boredom, I'm going to be referring to three main types that you will see. The first one, lack of motivation. When you wake up in the morning and you're not motivated to do anything and you say, I'm bored. That's one. Secondly, the lack of control. When you're doing a task and you feel like you have no impact and that whatever you do have no impact on your environment. That causes boredom because you think, well, what's the point? Nothing I do makes a difference. And then the third one is linking previous boredom experiences to an object. So, for example, in a certain class, let's say you were in a history class and one history class was boring. Then from that moment on, anything related to history, you link it to being a boring thing. Or if you see a history book, it becomes boring. So your mind automatically links back to that past event and creates boredom. So those are the main things, forms of boredom I'm, I'm talking about. So what can you do to prevent boredom? And why do you want to prevent boredom? Well, firstly, the reason why you want to prevent boredom is that boredom is unhealthy. We should show that people that have higher levels of boredom are actually at higher risk of heart disease and stroke. So you can literally be bored to death. And ways to prevent boredom. Switch up your habits. Do things new. Do different things. Try new sports, try new languages, learn new things, connect with new people. That prevents boredom. And also being mindful when you are doing things, being in the present movement, prevents your mind from wandering and, and thinking about the past events. And it allows you to be able to experience something you did before in a completely new light so that's a great way to help you prevent your boredom and what else can you do for boredom well in terms of feeling as though you have no control in an environment change your environment maybe the task you are doing maybe you change the task and do something else that you enjoy doing and you feel as though you have a true impact on your environment and that will also help you to cure your boredom so these are just a few tips there are many many more things that you can do and i'm sure you yourself have many remedies for boredom so Leave a comment below and let me know what you do to kill your boredom. Thank you for listening and see you again next week.